846, welcome back. With holiday parties and family gatherings right around the corner, healthy eating habits might be out the door. Joining us now are family nurse practitioner, Dr. Angie Golden, founder of NP Obesity Treatment Clinic, and Janet, who's been on a remarkable weight loss journey. Good morning to you both. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, good, good morning. morning. We appreciate your time. Uh, Dr. Golden, I want to start with you. When holidays arrive, they're, and they're already here, the, the parties have already begun, it sometimes is difficult to stay on track for people trying to lose weight and, and people also just trying to stay healthy, stay that healthy course. Uh, some tips, some suggestions for us this morning. You know, it is much more difficult when the hunger hormone is higher, like it is in chronic obesity, but to walk away from all these seasonal sugary foods that surround us. One of my favorite strategies for my patients to avoid overeating is don't go to a party or event without first having a protein snack with a large glass of water. This not only helps you feel full right away, but decreases that hunger hormone for quite a bit of time. Oh, I like that. That is a great suggestion. A very good one. Uh, talk to us about um, emotional eating and how that is different from physical hunger, being hungry. Well, physical or homeostatic hunger is when the brain recognizes that we actually need fuel for the body's basic biologic needs. We all know that sometimes we eat even when we aren't hungry. Often this is because we're emotional. We do this because some foods, especially those with sugar, cause transmitters in the brain to be released that can make the emotion seem to lessen a bit. This doesn't last and could lead to craving for those foods in order to increase those transmitters. And I know this is a, um, a hot topic for a lot of folks right now. I know Oprah taking to the air this morning talking about her weight loss journey. Uh, why don't you talk to us about some strategies and treatments to help uh, maintain a healthy body weight or to combat obesity? So the treatment of obesity has basic pillars, what and how we eat, increasing physical activity, but around the holidays, poor sleep and increased stress are big and those can increase eating so it's important to get those good night's sleep and do some type of stress reduction daily there are medications that can help treat the chronic disease of obesity as well by changing the hormones that control our eating this is one of the reasons we've partnered with curex to bring these messages to your audience there are numerous medications available one size doesn't fit all so people should talk to their own healthcare provider and they can get some more information at contrave.com. Yeah, all great suggestions. Uh, Jana, I wanna bring you into the conversation and learn more about your struggles with weight and of course your remarkable journey to shed those pounds. Yeah, um, I struggled with my weight and overeating my entire life. I was a classic uh, emotional eater like you know, Dr. Golden described. I would hit a stressor, I'd get anxious, um, and I'd immediately crave my comfort foods and then just eat until I was full. And that habit continued for decades. And three years ago, I found myself in my mid 50s, severely overweight, totally unfit. I could barely get off the couch or you know, even go up a flight of stairs. And I was desperate. Um, I was sad, I was unhappy, and I felt hopeless. I didn't think there was anything that would work for me. I had tried so many things and nothing had stuck. I went in to see my nurse practitioner for my annual exam, and she just didn't say to me, you know, Janet, you need to exercise and lose weight. I had heard that mm -hmm. you know, forever, and it actually helped. She actually asked me, she goes, Janet, why do you eat? and how do you eat? Mm. And that conversation I had with her totally changed my attitude towards weight management. I realized I had to actually change my relationship with food. And she provided me with a, a tool, a prescription to contrave, which for me, and you know, it'll vary for different people, but for me within weeks, I was noticing when I was getting stressed, I was noticing when those cravings hit and I had an opportunity to change mm what my reaction was and I could do something healthier like go for a walk or call a friend. And I also started to notice I was feeling hungry, which mm -hmm. was a very new sensation for me. Fast forward nine months, I had lost all the weight that I had hoped to lose. My physical fitness was improving um, incredibly. Um, but the biggest story is that that was two years ago that I lost the weight. And along with still using the medication as part of my tools, mm -hmm. along with you know changing my relationship with food, um, changing my reactions to food and to stressors, 
um, and in increasing my movement and my my exercise on a daily basis, I've maintained that weight loss now for two years. That's and incredible. I'm happier and healthier than I've ever been. Yeah, you look amazing. A huge congratulations to you. That's that's really incredible. I, I am interested to know, you know, you talk about, you know, having an epiphany, so to speak, when you spoke to your uh, your practitioner that, that day when she asked you, why do you eat? How do you eat? Was that a conversation that you've had previously, but for whatever reason, it was different that day? No, never. That was what was such a, a revelation for me. I mean, I was so used to my healthcare providers. It was almost an awkward conversation to have because right. you, you go in knowing that you're overweight. Yeah. You know, that's not a surprise to you. And then they say to you, oh, well, just eat right and exercise. And that that ends the conversation. And I just felt like there was no medical support mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so when I had that conversation and, you know, I realized why I was eating, I had to deal with the why I was eating Yeah. Um, and then deal with how I was reacting to that why. Yeah, it's wild how something so simple can be so profound and really be a Absolutely. game changer for someone, you know, going through this. And you can apply this to anything in life, not just uh, to wait, you know, it can be for um, other issues as well. Uh, what would be your advice to someone right now watching, listening, struggling with weight, struggling with health um, to get motivated and to make those changes? Was there something that resonated with you? I think for one, it was having having a glimpse of hope. Um, yeah. I think so many people, especially women as they get older and it's so much harder to, to lose the weight and to get active again, is that there is hope and that there's help. So talk to your, your medical um, provider and you know ask them to have that conversation with you about what tools are available to you. Um, and then I, I do think you, know, we, you do have to look at the emotional side of eating and address that that why question um, and that has changed not just my relationship with craving food and then reaching for that food it's it's helped me actually go go into some of the reasons that have been with me for, for my whole life on why i was getting that emotional um, and so my entire you know that the the weight loss on the outside is kind of the bonus for me Internally, I'm just so much happier and healthier, and I just feel so much better with, um, you know, what life has to hit me. Yeah, I love this for you, and I love that the both of you were able to come on here and talk to us about this this morning. I know that you both will have an impact on people watching and listening right now, so we're very grateful and thankful for, for your time this morning. Yeah, and I do encourage you so much for having us. Um, if your viewers go to contrave.com, they'll get a lot of information about obesity and a lot of insight and a lot of tips and tools. Of course, and we will put this inside this article on our website, click to Houston.com. Janet and Dr. Golden, thank you so much again. We appreciate it. The time